Come. Hey, a little up. nice never caused any harm. Fuck so, They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. All your talk of diplomacy is cowardice, not strategy. If you do not have the will to finish this fight, only say it. I will finish it when we are certain to win, Eivor. And that day is fast approaching. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! <laughs>